what is going on, man? There we are. Oh, how's it going? Very, very, very well. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Just chill action. Yeah. Now, out of curiosity, do you prefer Baba Drock or Drock? Just Drock. Just Drock. There yeah, it is. Drock. I've got to know, where did that come from? Where did Drock come from? Uh, like, an evolution of a nickname. I get it, man. I yeah. get it, dude. Did yeah, you, yeah. I'm about to it say it. Like, uh, everybody called me D-Rock forever, and then I used to sign shit like that. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, my boss started calling me Drock, because that's what it looked like. And I'm like, that's dope. And then other people started calling me, and so that just stuck as the signature. And that evolved into, like, art name, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get that, man. Yeah. I love it, dude. I hope you don't want me saying, you are, like, blowing up right now. I know you're not coming out of nowhere, but you are blowing up right now, man. You are on fire, like, <laughs> my goodness. I, I was talking to Yako Toys about you. Uh, I was talking to Hell Radical Toys about you. Um, Open It Already has been talking about you. One Trick Pony has been checking out your stuff. Like, man, like, left, right, and center, all of a sudden, like, you're everywhere. So appreciated. I'm, I'm out of work, so I'm, like, focusing on art right now, you know? Or like temporarily, got a few weeks off, whatever, how it goes. <laughs> Did COVID basically lead to what you're doing now with toys? Uh, well, I was doing it before. Yeah, I've been doing art and I've been doing art forever. And that's how I got into doing the toy thing. Like I met other people asked me to paint stuff for toys and for figure things. And I was like, dude, that seems so fun and a replicatable way to do art other than just painting. Again, like you're just expanding so much right now. like. Your page always had a lot of work. You've always had like the little medallions or the ooze. Um, you've had like the, like the, I think like the snots, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. More figures. But then also there's like the Candyman came out and now you've got the Sasquatch warrior or soldier creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, those things are mind blowing. The paint jobs that you're doing on those are like next level. Oh, you are rock trying to do, you know, a good foot soldier bootleg. <laughs> like I redid, uh, when the card comes out, I redrew, re-illustrated the original Foot Soldier card, only with my dude in there, but like, re-illustrated it. Man, and that's the other thing actually I noticed. If you, like, I noticed it on, uh, I think it's Aniso. I'm probably getting the name yeah. wrong. So you would actually want like I'm a not drawing sure it. <laughs> You want to get like a drawing contest with them, but also if, I, if you go on Google and you try and look you up, it's a lot of visual art. Yeah, yeah, that's... Wow. Mostly what I did, I've been painting for like a decade. Wild, man. I mean, art before that, but like painting and trying to move stuff and, you know, for a long time. I get it, the creative, the creative style. Now, I don't know if it makes you nervous, but I have not opened it yet, because I oh, look no. like that. <laughs> I like to put everybody in the hot seat. I, it's, it's Christmas time, so I packed it up, dude. Like... Okay, now I do have to ask, like, is there certain stuff that you'd like I kind of cut out of here? Because I never want to actually set the expectation for anybody. No, no, do it, do it up. My goodness, man. And actually, you are pretty open about that. Right on your site, it says, like, you're very open about extra goodies, man. That seems to be, like, all over there. Oh, yeah. Well, right now, I'm, like, practicing a lot, trying to figure out how to do everything. So I end up with piles of goodies. <laughs> My goodness, man. Holy cow. I'm going to pop it open. I'm actually going to commend, too, like, are these resin driplets? Whoa! Or is that paint? Uh, no, that's just paint. Yeah, Whoa. it's all like paint. Just having fun. I love it, man. Like I said, you went all out on that, dude. I'm trying to recycle boxes. <laughs> so you don't see the old stuff written everywhere. I'm like, oh, paint on it. Why not? Dude, I actually, like, I don't know. I love that shit, man. I love, like, that extra little, like, art stuff. Oh, ugh, ugh. it's awesome, man. Dude, I've got to commend you, too, like, you just look like one of the homies, man. Like, I definitely could imagine just being at a show and, like, <laughs> having a beer, that's you know what I mean? That's why, yeah, I love your videos. I love reaching out to you. I'm like, oh, dude, no, this guy. Like, your shelf, like, yeah. Well, <laughs> man, to be, yeah. I am so good. I've had a shelf, show. like, forever since I was a child. <laughs> dude, and, like, man, honestly, this kind of shit, man. Like, I know, like, I'm not gonna lie. I plan on just, like, posting them all up on there, man. Like. Spending the good juju, ah, the toy dudes are all about that, man. Well, and they have been, even since, like, I got my first, not, I wouldn't even call them toy figures, the, like, Bigfoot figures from Anasau and uh, Extra Truck Estriel. Like, little handwritten notes and, like, thanks for ordering my stuff. Dude, wait, that's cool. You guys are homies, like, exactly. It's, 
is whack, man. And COVID's wild, right? I think that's part of it too. Like, what a weird friggin' year. So it's like, oh, the one and fuzzies. It's, it's kind of giving me a chance to focus on this though. And I'm like, this is dope, fun. I get to hang out with my family and then go out here for a few hours every day. <laughs> I do love the amount of other artists that also see that same um, positive side effect of it, man. Exactly, like you gotta live for it, you gotta stay inside, but as an artist, I'm like, cool, I kind of get to focus a little more. <laughs> but even that's hard, like I think a lot of people always say it, like if I had more time, I'd paint more, I'd draw more, I'd, you know, but then they're given the time and not everybody ends up doing it. So, no, you gotta, you still have to really try. You still have to be like, fucking, I'm gonna make something of it or I'm gonna feel like a turd afterwards. <laughs> Brutal, man. I'm seeing this guy. I can't avoid it. I'm gonna actually peel him out first because, dude, you, you're out of your mind with these, man. Like, you're wild, man. Admittedly, like, I've been looking at these for quite some time. I've got to ask, like, what led to, like, is this actually a kit bash? Is that a sculpt? Like, what's uh, it's on? both. Yeah, it's both. Oh, yeah, it's a kit God. bash, and then I hand sculpted the hair and the belt. As if, man, and. You know, you know that I'm a fiend for it. Your boxes, if I'm not mistaken, are pop style. Yeah, they don't have the same look as like the blister packs, but I'm like, they still look pretty dope and you get to open it and play with them. Dude, yeah. Listen, in my opinion, anybody who hasn't seen this afterwards, like make sure to hit up Baba Drock and ask about these because this is where it's at, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Nice, dude. Like, so, so. <laughs> man, out of curiosity, like what, where did you end up deciding to get this design from or this style from? Uh, well, I just had got all my toys out from my parents' house and so I was digging through everything and I found that whole Spider-Man top is a little bust. I don't even know what he it is. It's just a heavy little decorative piece. And I'm like, wait, if I find the right pair of legs and stick around with it and it's a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, I got a huge collection of toys. So I'm like, oh, this broken one and sculpt some hair. Fuck, dope. <laughs> Dude, wild, wild. And then, holy cow, man. You got. Dude, I am obsessed with these drawers, man. <laughs> I've been looking at this for so long. So, here, I'm gonna take a quick little, like, selfish moment here. This is why I'm obsessed with your drawers. Personally, in my opinion, oh my God. <laughs> it's like spot on. So, for me, it's like needed one of these drawers, dude. What is the backstory on these guys? That's awesome. Uh, well, I paint a lot of Bigfoot stuff and cryptids and monsters. And uh, he was one of the old ones. That was one of my favorites forever. And I'm like, if I'm gonna start doing toys, I should do a sculpt of one of my things. And it, it didn't come out perfect. I made it with like the uh, epoxy hardening clay. And so it got hard on me real quick. So it's half like carved afterwards. Uh, but he came out pretty good, so I so I uh, molded him anyway, and I, I like him a lot. Oh, I think it's rad, man. This case is freaking cool too. Once again, like just knocking it out of the park, man. I <laughs> these those are like uh, Christmas decoration ornaments that I ended up with a giant box of these that I had to clean all the glitter off and then figure out a little box design for. But and then I know you were saying it's not on this one. But dude, when you were talking about like the lore behind the drawer, do you mind giving us a bit of a breakdown for that? Because to me, that's so cool, dude. So I thought just for fun, I'd, uh, you know, put some, to fill out stuff on the box. Me and my brother are working on a role-playing game that's real similar to D&D, only you play as a Bigfoot or like a wild person. And it's it's pretty thick. We're, we're pretty close to finishing this whole thing. And uh, so I rolled him up as a character and did all his stats and, uh, so you can play him when we eventually get the game. I'll try and release little bootlegs and uh, stuff if anybody's down playing D&D style games. See, and again, I think that's kind of special because as a collector, even some of my buddies I started telling them, I was like, yeah, like him and his brother are like working on a game for it. And right away, they have the same mentality as me. They're like, oh, well, like your chore is kind of special then when the game comes yeah, out. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, He's man. An like, individual character, yeah. It's like getting a, a skin in a video game. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You have the you have the one freaking glow in the dark red. He's I love it. Yeah, he doesn't so, glow bright because of the pigment, but he does glow. He glows in the dark. I'm gonna have to make sure to get a nice shot of it glowing later. <laughs> so, dude, like you knocked it out of the park, man. You got the little Saga controllers, like dude. You weren't kidding, like you said, like Christmas time. You just like this thing down. 
the club, dude, again, your soldiers are going to be wild, man. And like, dude, I, I don't understand. Like, you know, how often do you cast? When I was first starting, I watched a lot of, uh, what's the, uh, the Craftsman. That dude's videos are freaking awesome. And he's like, always have a little extra one set up in case you have extra stuff. And so I take a, anything that looks like it'll make a good cast and kind of set it off to the side. And when I'm casting a big one, I'm like, and eh, there you go, two new things. So all the like, little leftovers are extras. That's yeah, right. they're just little extra bits of silicone. If I can fill up this much in a tube, I can do something. And again, honestly, man, I'm not gonna lie, like, this is sick. Cause, like, I wasn't a Nintendo kid, I was a Sega kid. So like, you couldn't have known, but you nailed it, dude. <laughs> you nailed it. Like, that's awesome, me too. And like, <laughs> that's what's up, man. The darker games, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah. No, I'm so sorry, man. I'm just going like a thing through these here. I'm impressed too, dude. Like not one thing broke. And this is what I was talking about, dude. Like your store is packed, man. The ooze it. It the ooze, you can put it on anybody, dude. Yeah, it looks great on the spider sand. It looks yeah. great on the spider sand. I'm thinking it might even end up looking good on like a trover. Or, yeah, like anybody, man. Oh, on exactly. it looks on like the five inch, five and a half inch scale. It, it's the size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think of anything, yeah, man. Like, dude. Like, Ninja I, Turtle I, size. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Okay, I've got to ask, out of curiosity, like, do you know Hell Radical Toys? Have you guys chatted a bit or? Just back and forth a little bit. Uh, yeah, we traded a toy and yeah. Dude, he loved your one too. Yeah, maybe not, I don't remember. But yeah, we chat, chit chat back and forth in here. And just, uh, I just sent him one not too long ago and I got one coming. I love that because I'm a total collector. My freaking... Dude, that's rad. The purple pizza. Again, yeah. molds, like sitting off to the side, you know. Dude, honestly, I think what the best part is too is like, you know, clearly now I'm going to like I was already sold on needing a soldier, but like now I'm going to need a couple. I've got so many accessories, I'm going to be able to pop in their hand. I love making the accessory because you can use it like if you're a collector, you can use it with your other Ninja Turtles or He-Man or whatever. Like, I'm surprised you haven't had any pictures taken of them holding the uh, Sega controllers, man. Dude, yeah the table's been full of work and so i haven't been able to set up much scenes like i totally get that dude the balance of creating and then also doing all the networking and the media promotion and oh, yeah. dude i love the toys like actually my tables here have tubs of he-man and ninja turtles and gi joes all right here so like just ready to dig through oh yeah all the time in case i hang need a small cast or something too i'm like whatever <laughs> yeah grab that you're insane, man. Dude, and like, okay, maybe you it's, can actually finally, you can be the first person to correct me. Is it cuts? Is cuts even a word? Cuts? Oh, I have no idea, dude. I'm a newbie, actually. I'm like, I've been doing it less less than a year doing toys. But like, that dude's good. <laughs> Your work is really clean, man. That's the best way I can put it. Like, you've got really, really, really clean, detailed work, dude. Oh, that's... Thank you, because <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's <laughs> I don't feel so, but I'm getting there. I just got the pressure pot. It's getting clean. Ooh, see, I never like to ask because, in my opinion, <sighs> I've seen some dudes without a pressure pot make some astounding work. Like, out of curiosity, was Troy made without a pressure pot? That one uh, was made before. Yeah, actually, most of that stuff you got was all made before. This is that phenomenal. Was Thank you, quality. And so I would never want to make somebody feel like they need a pressure pot when they're already putting out this caliber of work. But if it lightens the load and allows you to produce more and enjoy it more. Exactly. And bubbles. <laughs> Eventually finding them. And I'm like, dude, man, no, I need it. I need it. To, I, mean, I, I got some help and we got one. <laughs> dude, you know it, man. Wild. I'm going to need like a really good explanation of this. The free oh, you, got, oh, you got the prints. Yeah, yeah. That's just a painting. It's a print of a painting. It's like a big one. It's a like three by four foot. No, two by three foot big painting. One of yours or? Yeah, yeah. Wild, man. What, like, sorry, you might have already said it. Oil? What's that? Is it oh, no. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, you are okay. out of this world. 
Sorry, now I'm just like mesmerized. No, no, no. Good, good. good. <laughs> the next like it's, half hour. Hard to sell art. Making prints is expensive, and uh, so these are actually just homemade little ones. I got a decent printer, and over the last year, so these are home printed ones just for Christmas. Okay, he's being incredibly humble. For the record, it is not like a like laser printer your mom and dad have at their home. <laughs> he went like no it's just... high quality print. Dude, you are out of this world. And such a kind soul, man. Yeah, I honestly... Yeah. Holy cow, you are just out of this world too kind. Now, I hope you don't mind. I always like to kind of like do some rapid fire questions. Go, oh, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <coughs> toys, art, or art toys? Oh man, art toys. Yeah, right now, yeah. I would agree. Longest session that you've ever spent in the casting molding process? Oh, I've been out here for eight hours. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe even more if you count the whole day. Like come out in the morning, since I've been out of work, I come out in the morning for a few. Sometimes I'm out here till pretty late after dinner, you know? Like, Do you like cartoons? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite? I, I, gotta, uh, I liked cartoons forever. I've always watched cartoons. And now I got a four and a half year old and we are cartooning. I love it, man, definitely. Do you have a favorite artist? Uh, Sam Keat, or I mean, Simon Beasley after that, pretty close. Frazetta, Frank Frazetta, I Just dropping them. Do you have a favorite figure that you've made? Oh man, well the only two, uh, I really like the spider saying, but Bigfoot, Soldier, they're all my favorites. I've only made like three so far, like so. The they other ones are yourself. straight bootlegs, that's why they're freebies. Anything I figure I make or alter, I'll sell. The little, the little other ones are all just. Unless I make an art background and sell it as an art piece, like the cards count as art, like all the whole. Right. I, I, that's what I feel a lot of time. The concept's awesome. The, co the conceptual pieces where they're just like, here's this, but the concept of what I'm selling it as, like, it's great. One. It's a art piece. That's why. Yeah, you gotta have space on the wall. Beautiful. <laughs> I dig it, man. Now to curiosity, you've seen open already. Do you ever smell yeah, your man. toys? <laughs> I don't. And I'm so, I'm like, I was giggling the whole time they were smelling them. I'm like, they sit in my studio for so long, they probably smell like incense. Maybe that's part of it though. Maybe that's like almost part of why we like to do it is like every now and then you pop one open and you're like, damn, that's resin. And every now and then you open one and you're like, oh, that's the headshot. All right, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> it's not It's not your typical factory plastic smell. <laughs> now, do you believe in Bigfoot? Uh, I believe in something like that, yeah. I can get down, man. Probably a lot, yeah. <laughs> Why not? What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever molded or casted? I don't know. I the first Skeletor head I did, tried to it fell over, and so it was all smashed together. Had a couple things come out really bubbly, but uh, nothing too bad yet, I guess. See, I'm still waiting for somebody to say something really weird, like trying to mold their own face or oh, yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that, you know? No, I haven't got too creative yet. <laughs> One day I'll get somebody. What type of molding process do you use? Uh, I use the, what is it, smooth on silicone, usually the mold star, <laughs> and experimenting with a few different resins, especially now that I got the pot. I'm like, let's try that. Hey, let's try. How did you find setting up the uh, pressure pot? Was it difficult at all? Actually, it was super easy. My dad had a uh, compressor that I'm borrowing along with the pressure pod. So like, I had to go buy two connectors. Nothing. I love it, man. Yeah, I ended up getting one forecasting, not having to like do the paint pod conversion. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing scary. Yeah, exactly. Do you have a favorite action figure? The favorite toy line is definitely the Ninja Turtles. Which one? Oh, Dev oh the original stuff. Oh, like, gee. Yeah. yeah. Your artwork uh, kind of speaks to that nature too. Yeah, I'm, Ninja Turtles is in my soul. <laughs> I love it, man. And the kids just now getting super into it too. So we're like, I'm, I'm going into all the new stuff, all the new cartoons that I was never into, but it's on Netflix and he wants to watch it. So, Dude, dope, this is good. <laughs> I'm like trying to hold him back from everything Five Nights at Freddy's because he like sees bits of it everywhere. And I'm like, just a little bit longer, dude. <laughs> It's kind of creepy, man. <laughs> it's cool. I love the figures. It's a great aesthetic. I love it. So, but yeah, Teen Titans Go is like his favorite. 
cartoon. We watch it all the time. <laughs> Man, the humor in that is like some of the content. I, I'm glad it's there for kids to get it straight up. Whether they understand all of it or not, I'm glad it's there for them to at least take in. Exactly, and. I was exposed to a lot of more adult cartoons. My parents were like, dude, watch it. And like, I don't feel damaged. I feel it kind of neutralizes you to this stuff later when you're not so shocked by it later when you do understand. Desensitized a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I dig it, man. I dig it. And then I think you kind of touched on it earlier. Um, but I'm, I am so kind of curious. Like, you mentioned a buddy of yours was kind of doing it. So that's kind of why you started. But you clearly love toys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What was, like, <laughs> the moment that you knew, like, there was no more talking about wanting to make toys. You had to go online. You had to find out how to do it. When I finished sculpting and putting together the spider saying, I was like, dude, no, nope, okay, buy everything. I mean, you know, it's going to be a little investment, but I, I, I was like, this is dope. And then it was a pain in the ass. That was my first one. And, like, making a mold around that hair that, and uh, pain, dude. <laughs> it's funny you mention that, like, um, the amount of dudes that have actually told me before when, like, because not many people do what you've done here. Like, admittedly, a lot of guys don't fuck with Skulky at all. So, the fact that you ended up doing, and actually, wait a minute here. Don't, how did you bake the Skulky if it was on a plastic figure? Oh, no, it's um, epoxy hardening clay. So, it's like you get three hours to do it. So, I did it a piece at a time and then, like, sanded it down and polished it and sculpted it afterwards. So the original is like built onto the little Spider-Man bust with the legs epoxied on there. See, and that's, I'm glad that you guys come in and explain this stuff sometimes, man, because I don't think people understand like how much work really goes into some of these figures. <laughs> and like I said, like having time off of work's the only way I got enough time to chill out here and do art. <laughs> and you've got painted ones of these too, man. I couldn't imagine trying to paint up all the Spider-Man coloration on that. Another bad decision for my first toy. <laughs> okay, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, dude, They're just those bad. lines, like, it's great. I love it, but, oh, man, those little lines, every single one little black line for all of them. Yeah, but, okay, so, I, 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 again, I don't want to, like, talk me or anything like that, but personally in my industry and other people that I talk to who make toys, um, it's almost like they skipped having to do all the hard work, almost thinking that like, well, I'll learn that later. And then otherwise there's certain dudes like yourself or boot like Super Mutant, and right away on their very first attack at it, they've sculpted, molded, done the entire process and have been able to go, that was a nightmare, but now you've done it all. You've done the whole thing. It's, I like art and learning and experimenting. And uh, so it's, that's what I'm, I'm like, watch a video. How do I do that? Okay. Let's try that. Yeah, like you are like a true person who loves what they're doing and loves making and then like it gives the piece even more soul. If that makes sense. Yeah. I yeah, I, I got into it because it was a way of making art that I could sell for less than the price of a painting. And and I could sell copies of, you know what I mean? Like make multiples of them and be like, this is art. And I mean, like right here in front of me, I actually have stacks of paintings that because, you know, I gotta sell them for more than a hundred bucks or more a piece they're fully framed big paintings i gotta stack stacks of them over here not stacks but <laughs> well i get it like it reaches that point where especially with covid you can't have an exhibition exactly like but or even i actually did and then it happened so my stuff's been hanging up there over in eugene so like not a small small place and uh still like oh, i sold a couple it was decent but again but not many people win you know not just tough probably a, probably a lot less than what would have normally gone oh yeah oh yeah but or, I, I would hope <laughs> but personally like and again like i've actually tried talking to artists in north bay about this as well and um my buddy uh rob shaw is an artist and he he does some really nice work and i've always said the reality is when you go to an art show there's always gonna be people like me that like i might want to be able to buy a piece but i don't have the 600 bucks to buy a piece but if you have a bunch of these for like 30 20 bucks there are so many people that like would grab like one of these and, and that's it like i don't even know like i don't know the pricing but that's me saying like if this were sitting on a table afterwards and they were like hey it's like okay cool i get because it's the experience man. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna work on actually trying to get some prints into the into my shop too the ones i have you can get 
prints of a lot of stuff through my Society6, but those are a little more expensive and that's a third party. They print it and send it. Uh, I would like to get more printed out and into my shop that I can sign and number and do cool stuff, send you little knickknacks with them and stuff. Dude, I, I don't see why not. And also, like, have you considered doing collabs with artists? Were you to their backers or anything? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got, we got one in the works and uh, yeah, I've done some stuff. <laughs> I love it. But I would love to. Yeah, I'm at, I got lots of free time and I'm not painting anything in particular right now. There we go, there we go. And if anything, you might be amazed how many of the toy guys, that's the part they don't want to touch. And meanwhile, like right down to your small stuff, you've got it right down pat, man. Hop on the oh. computer and do some like, ch -ch 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 -ch. I love that stuff. Like, man, so you do all the same graphics online. Like, yeah, the all rounded artist, dude. Oh yeah, everything. Well, yeah, I've done, I did a lot of like uh, flyers and CD stuff way back in the day and bands, you know? And so yeah, doing all the digital make names and make pictures look cool on the computer. I love it, man. It, it, it's clear, like I said, it's very clear that you know what you're up to, man. And again, I gotta say, no pressure pot and you're busting out these, but now you've got a pressure pot, the work is just gonna be like leaps and bounds. I <laughs> Out of curiosity, why did you go with Peg on the dudes? I love that on the um, Last Watch Soldiers. Again, just experimenting. I'm like, no, I can do that. Like the magnets seem cool, and I could do that. I, I thought about trying it, but I was like, no, let's try and mold a peg, dude. I bet I can do it. And they work all right. They work pretty good. Never my first attempt. His arms stay on when he's posed. They'll stay on in every position. They're they're not super duper duper tight, but they work really good. That's amazing, man. Honestly, <laughs> like, again, not many people sure. attempt that. You've, you've definitely just like attempted a lot of things that like oh, a lot of dudes don't. And like, the sculpting your own pizza. That's for uh, a surprise. Well, I got the uh, the Wise Master, the little Yoda turtle guy that will be out soon. He's not gonna come with it. After I get stuff in my next round, it'll be a different version. It'll be a special version of him that's going to come with the pizza and so that's all crazy dude crazy man now out of curiosity is there anything before i kind of let you go or end the recording portion of this did you want to tell us about any drops you've got coming up uh hopefully by january i'll have all the bigfoot soldiers painted up and finished and i'll be dropping a good handful of the wise master little yoda ninja turtle mashup guys so both of those guys will be out in 2021 first thing i love it man out of curiosity are those the soldiers behind you there yeah. Do you mind if we take a little peek? No, not at all. You want me? Here, check it out. Yeah. Can I see? Shh. Wow. Your paint up is phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I casted them in a... Let, let me sit down. So, like, Bigfoot's, all the sightings are different colors, and then there's swamp ones, and then this one was red, and this one was white and blacker than black, so... I kind of cast a wide variety. So everybody's going to have the same foot soldier paint job. And then there's, you know, half of them are a good solid brown. And then there's a wide variety. You got a few orange browns, some whites with black, and some green mossy looking swamp ones. And You're going to start a, a war, man. Collectors are going to be fighting each other. Some of us I have that, we have that complete. Look, reserve, hit me up, whatever. <laughs> Dude, that's the issue. Like, I don't know if you realize this. Like, I love it. Like, Okay, so most collectors, maybe you're not the same, but some of us have the uh, completest. And unfortunately, that little nag at the back of your brain that like, once you know that there's multiple drawers, you kind of need to have one of all the drawers. <laughs> and once you know that there's going to be multiple Sasquatch soldiers, you kind of need all of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not definite, but this might be the full run too. The casts or the uh, molds are starting to get here. So there might be like 25-ish. That is impressive, though. 25 pulls from the mold? Yeah, yeah. Well, I pulled probably like 30, but... Man. Okay, so out of curiosity, because now now you're talking like... I know that you guys are too humble. So... Where's this guy? Know, this guy's... Check this out. I don't know if you can see it. He's like... Oh, wait. There he is. He's just super bubbly all over. He's the toxic one. <laughs> I poured it and the mold just like volcanoed on me. I think I figured out what happened, but it was very, it was really exciting. 
but like you said, like that's like the toxic ooze one. Like, there's no reason to get rid of that or anything. You just market yeah. it. Trim it up, clean him up, paint him all monstery, toxic ooze, make a little special back card. Like, dude, you look great. Dude, I gotta laugh because your Troy's got a little bit of a butt. And personally, I'm all about that, so I'm down. <laughs> I mean, you know, real creatures have butts. Everybody's got them. You gotta have one, man. <laughs>